Hey guys, it's Max A, and I want to do a video on three new things, or three things I've been wanting to share with you guys. And I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. The title will probably already, not probably, will already be in the, um, whatever. The title will already be up, but it's just basically three things that I really love lately that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about. So, um, yeah. The first thing I'll talk about, and I meant to talk about it in my last vlog, and a lot of people, a lot of people were really kind of disappointed that I wasn't able to get it up. Something happened with my camera; it didn't film the end. I don't even think I pushed record. I don't remember. But I want to talk about my lips, and I want to do that first because I have nothing on my lips, and I want to get that taken care of. But before I start, let me just um, talk about what I'm wearing and my hair, jewelry, things like that. So I got this um, kind of short sweater. It ends like right above the hips uh, from H&M and it's kind of just like roomy and baggy and I really like love this collar um, I think it's just very it's very I feel like it's very like 1960s Audrey Hepburn almost but at the same time it's really modern go away shop and um, but I love the crisp of it I love that it's like also a sweatshirt so it's comfy but it has so much style to it um, and I think it was like $25 H&M okay I just have my hair in a top knot, and then my everything's the same. Anastasia eyebrows, Stila blush. It's just the usual kind of stuff. You guys know I'm not like a big makeup girl, so um, on my nails, it's Butter of Lo it's a butter brand, Butter of London, and I don't remember, but it's like that like a teal, just a regular teal color. Um, let me see what else. Lips I'll be doing in a second, and then I'll show you guys my arm stack today. And I love this one. I'm mixing metals today, and I don't always mix metals, but I really love the effect of mixing metals sometimes. Sometimes it just looks right. Um, okay, so, and then also I'm going to start telling you guys which stones are vintage and which stones are not, because some of my stones are vintage and some of them are not. And when I say vintage, I don't mean used. They've never been used. They are still in the box, each individually wrapped. When I still get them, never been unwrapped from Swarovski. Okay. So the first two are my Act Like Royalties, royalty bracelets, and this one's in the sapphire color, and this one's in the um, Lavender AB. And they're really, really sparkly. Um, I get emails from people all the time, and I know I say this, but it's really hard to take a picture or even see the stones on camera. When you get them, they are, like, they're brilliant. Okay. The next is my uh, mod chain, and it's just a double wrap mod chain, but it's not like a double wrap style. This one is the Lux Hardware in white with gold hardware, and this is the Metallic Coco in silver and white leather. And I just mix the silver, my silver pieces, with the big gold Lux Hardware, and I just love the effect. So yeah, hope you guys like that. And all of these actually are available online. None of them you have to email me for, but you're more than welcome to. I know a lot of people would prefer to do email me um, to order. It's easier for them or whatever, and I love helping you guys. So whatever is easier for you. Okay, on to my lips. Now, you guys know that I do get in lip injections, and I do get Botox and things like that. So yes, I do, and I, if you guys don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But if you are, in my opinion, if you're late 20s, whatever, 30s, you should probably do it because girls are going to age faster than guys. You know that. That's just my opinion, but we have to have a little, we have to like take the edge off if we can. Okay, so, um, what am I talking about my lips? Yeah. All right, so a lot of people have been asking about um, how much I get injections, how much I get in my lips, whatever. I don't know. What I do is I just go and I buy one syringe and I have her inject a little bit here and there and then I tell her when I want her to stop. So I don't know how much. I usually leave not having used the whole syringe, maybe half or three quarters, depending. I've noticed that recently I've been, I've been like kind of looking at my lips more and seeing where I need it and where I don't. And I've decided now, let me show you guys. When I smile, my top lip just gets flat. It's just the way your kind of the muscles in your mouth and your lips, whatever, not your mouth and your cheeks work and pull your mouth. That's, you can't like, I can't change that. So 
the way your lips will look with injections is different the way, than the way mine will look. I hope that makes sense. So I think I'm going to start focusing more on the bottom and just here. I told you guys that because I have colds, I have cold sores sometimes, and they always come in the same place. Um, I have kind of lips that are small and they kind of just go into my mouth. So my lips kind of end in my mouth. They don't come out like some girls' lips are more full and big. Mine aren't like that. So when I, I just can't get a lip here and I can't get a lip here. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if it is. So anyway, here I'm taking too long to describe this, but um, uh, obviously Sophia Loren is beautiful. But at the same time, I feel like she has a similar not at all, at same at all, but maybe a similar lip to me where she has lip in the front. Oops, my lip liner's going away. But not really on the side. See how her bottom lips just go into her mouth almost. So I think she's, her lips are perfect, obviously. And then here, so I've been trying different things lately. Here, if you can see, she completely overdraws. It's a little bit too much on me. It doesn't look right. So I'm gonna stay with this, with this lip is what I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so the reason I did not do a video last week is because um, I got it, I went in to get injection in my, I decided to get, to get more in my bottom lip and focus more in the, just this section of my bottom lip in the front rather than doing my top. And so I'm just gonna have a little more of like a puffy bottom lip. I put half, almost half a syringe just right here you guys can see it's a little bit, it's pretty puffy. Anyway, the reason I didn't do my video last week, I usually don't have any downtime, is because I think I put in more than normal and I was totally bruised, like on my skin underneath here. Anyway, so I couldn't do a video. I wanted to tell you guys that. Um, but yeah, I've been getting so many questions about my lips and I know a lot of you girls um, are interested in doing it or do it and wanted to know what I do. All right, what I've been doing lately and ugh, to get the effect I want, I'm gonna show you. Stop talking and do it, right? Okay. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to draw up here. I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm gonna focus my liner here. By the way, this is Native by Urban Decay. You see that? You see this? It was this part of the lip isn't getting anything. Okay, it already looks even fuller because I've done that. I think. All right, now for my top lips. My top lips, I'm gonna go a little tiny bit farther than I did with my bottom. I'll kind of show you on this side. And I'm not gonna curve, I'm going in a straight line. Um, because my mouth curves in, I don't want that. I want it straight to make the lip look bigger. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys can see what I did where I didn't even focus here at all. Basically, there's nothing there. Um, it obviously wouldn't look, I mean, I, I've done it at night and I just cover my entire face with foundation, you know what I mean? And then I draw like the dark lip on and you can't, it, you can't see the corners that aren't covered with the, say a red color or dark color because it's covered with foundation. Um, if you want, you can kind of like do that or whatever, but this is what I've been doing lately. It just makes, I feel it gives me a more plump look because I'm focusing on the front, the front part of the lip. Um, so that, that's my kind of trick lately. Yeah, okay, so that was the first thing is my lips. I hope you guys like that. Second thing is, so I have a bag and then I have sunglasses to show you guys. And I'm really stoked about both. Okay, next is my new MCM bag. And I wanted to show you guys this MCM bag. 
I wore it on an Instagram picture and wanted to kind of talk about it more. I wanted to show you guys like right when it came in, but I didn't because I wanted to share it for like a reveal. And I also want to show you guys how much you can fit in it and things like that. So this bag is my absolute favorite bag. I have this, or sorry, this style MCM bag is my favorite MCM style bag. It's called the Tracy. And I have a large Tracy too. I don't know if you guys remember it. It's like all of this print everywhere with this trim, this dark kind of black trim. Um, but this one is a smaller, a smaller version of it, but it's not so small. And I wanted you guys, I want to get the right name on this. So I know it's the Tracy Vecitos and you guys always ask me, but I was curious what this is, this part of leather called. So it's the Tracy Vecitos with caviar and it looks like, um, what does it look like? It looks like Stingray, but it's not Stingray and it goes all the way along the back. Um, I just love it so much. It's so chic, it's so modern, but at the same time it's so classic MCM. And the Tracy is my favorite MCM bag. So when I got this little baby, the tiny baby, it's not tiny, because there's a small one, and this is the medium, I think, what does it say? Oh, this is small. But I feel like it's more of a medium size, and my big one I feel like is more of a large size. You guys probably remember it. Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys the inside and how much you can fit in it, because it is quite big. And so I have my um, bag that I've been using like every day here for everyday stuff. But I want to show you guys how much you can fit in here so you get an idea because I know everyone loves um, loves the MCM, but I wanted to show you guys how to put it in or how much you can put in. So I have my wallet here and this is a full size wallet, okay? And you can totally fit the full size wallet right in there and it fits beautifully. And that's what I love about things like that. It's just like meant to be where something just fits perfectly. So I put that in the front and then there's um, another pocket in the front right here for, I don't know, like, I guess it could be for my cell phone. So here's my cell phone. Let me save that. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This bag is meant to be. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Alright, look at that. It just fits right in the front pocket perfectly. And then this fits perfectly in there. Okay, so far this bag is like my bag, right? <laughs> Alright, so then I have... Another little MCM, you guys have seen this. It's a little MCM, I think this is called Princess or something, the Princess line, I'm not sure. But I keep all of my gift certificates and little, um, I don't know, like rewards cards and stuff in here, ones I use frequently, and that even fits in here. So, so far I've got an iPhone 6 Plus, a huge wallet, a baby wallet, and I still have time to put in makeup. So, where's my compact? Here's my Marc Jacobs compact. It's perfectly in there. See, this thing is kind of annoying like that. Okay, and then what else? I gotta get a lipstick in there. Okay, I'll put my lip liner I just used. And what else would I use? And a blush, and probably a blush brush I carry around. Perfect, so a blush brush, and then my MAC Lazy Sunday, which I love, and it just fits perfectly. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it fits. Actually, it's not a tight fit at all. It totally fits. All of that in there. So cute, right? Oh my god, I just love it. Oh, and there's a huge zipper part in the middle, and there's a zipper part in the back, too. But how much does that fit? I don't know. It's just so great. And then I guess if you didn't want it to be very big, you could, like, not squeeze it in, or you could squeeze it in. But yeah, so cute. And it has a shoulder strap, so I can do my shoulder. But I just want to show you guys this, because it's, like, the cutest thing ever. When I got it in, I just wanted to, like, take a pic and put it up right away. But I thought it'd be more fun to, like, do a, re a reveal and show you guys how much it actually fits inside. <laughs> but it's like small, so cute. So yay, perfect. Actually, I'm probably just gonna leave it like that now and use that all week, because it's already packed with all the things I need. Perfect. All right, next are my um, new sunglasses. And so these are sunglasses that I know is really embarrassing. I saw these sunglasses, every, or not everyone, but if you kind of follow random things like I do. I don't really follow it at all. You guys know I'm not into Hollywood at all, but I le really love Kris Jenner's style. I know a lot of people dislike Kris Jenner. I've, I personally don't understand why everyone dislikes her so much. I don't follow her background or anything what she's about. I just know that she's a mom and she's really like made her three girls something with, and they wouldn't have been anything. Like They really don't have like a talent or anything. They're not like singers or actresses and she's made them something she is. So that's what, when I think of Kris Jenner, I think of that. And I think it's, I don't know, I, I, maybe I'm missing something. I don't know anything about them really, but I don't know. Anyway, besides that, I love Kris Jenner's style. I think that 
if when I get to be older like that, I love the way she wears all black and like just, you know, little pieces of white. She always looks nice. I mean, she's not super thin at all. So she really dresses well for her body. And I just like her style. Anyway, I noticed that she's always wearing these sunglasses. And I've looked them up online and I found out that they're Porsche design sunglasses and I would have never in a million years have thought to go into a Porsche design store. It sounds like a guy store um, and almost like poser. Like why would I buy Porsche sunglasses if I don't have a Porsche? Anyway, so I guess I'm a poser because I don't have a Porsche. But so I know, so I went, I've been looking for these sunglasses at forever. I go into multiple sunglass stores and ask if they, um, if they carry them. They never do. Then I realized I just walked by the store one day in Beverly Hills and I saw they had it so I ran inside. They had a whole wall full of these sunglasses and I was shocked. I was, how did I not know this was here? Anyway, so the ones she has are the black frame and it's a matte black frame with a dark lens, like a dark black lens that's almost like um, mirrored on the outside. So I was, I went in, sorry, there's like a piece of fuzz on my eye. I went in and I was like, that's what I want right there. I want the, please give me the Kris Jenner sunglasses and I was so stoked about it. So I tried them on and she has the, extra large ones, like the biggest ones you can get. Um, so the guy was like ringing me up for all, for like, you know, for the black with the black sunglass frames or whatever that came, whatever how it came. And then I saw that they had gold and I like ran back to him and I was like, wait, I'm, cause that was one thing I wasn't really feeling about the black is they were matte black frames. They weren't like glossed frames and so they were really sporty almost. So um, I ran back and I was like, wait, wait, I think I might want the black instead. So the black ones, or sorry, the gold ones. So the gold ones come with these brown, kind of dark brown frames. And that's why when they were on the shelf, the glasses are presented with like their, the lens that they come with. So they have the brown and that's probably why I didn't think about it. But what you can do is you can customize these. So pretty much if you guys want the Kris Jenner sunglasses, I know a lot of people like, and I think Kylie wears these too, like these are very popular. Um, if you want the Kris Jenner sunglasses, um, get, she gets the extra large ones. But if you don't like the matte black frame like me, if you'd rather have the gold, you can buy this and get the dark frames. And that's what I did. But actually I didn't get the frame she had. I got these, they're like a dark midnight blue. And I liked it better because I think I'm gonna go back and get the other ones too. But the frames that she wears are kind of pearlized or mirrored and I think that kind of makes my skin look weird. I just don't like, you guys know I don't like shimmer and I don't like sparkle and stuff. So anyway, also let me tell you guys, I know these are really big for my face. The large size looks better on me, but like the guy that worked there, he was Italian, you know what I mean? He was like so Italian. He's like, if you want the look, you have to get the extra, like, if you want the look, you get the extra large. And I was like, yeah, exactly, the look. I'm not going for what looks good on me, I want the look. Um, so yeah, these are them, and I have a really wide bridge nose. I've pulled these apart, the little um, kind of nose things apart as much as I can, but because I have such a wide nose from being hit in the face in karate for 16 years, um, they're not gonna go any any lower. So, I mean, I can wear them up, I can wear them there, but I just wear them there. But, okay, love these so much. You can buy, so the frame, the glass itself comes, I'm talking about this way too much, comes with two separate, two, it comes with two, like, re two changeable sunglass lenses. All the sunglasses come with different kinds of lenses different, sorry, different colors. So the black comes with different ones and the gold ones do. They come, mine came with this light blue, but I don't know if I like it because I think you can see your eyes through it. Oh, actually you can't. I might change those, they're really cool. And the brown one that I showed you, and then I bought these dark black, almost midnight blue. They're $65 for the lenses, and then the sunglass with two pairs of lenses is $500, so I spent 500 plus I bought a $65 additional lens. But what's so amazing about this is if you scratch your lens, you can just go in and just quickly buy a new lens. Let me show you this too. So you can just open this up right here and take out these lenses right here in your, plate, your own house and put in new lenses. So cool, right? So I can get any kind, like millions of different looks. I can do light lenses, dark lenses, mirrored, not. I'm just so stoked about it. Only thing, the most annoying thing, and that's why I'm not sure that they are my favorite sunglasses, is because you cannot clean them unless you're super focused. Actually, I didn't even bring cloth with me, but I'll use this. 
So when you're cleaning these, every single time I clean these, they just pop right out. It's the thing opens up so easily. So it's not like something that you can just quickly like, like your sunglasses and just quickly like clean them and put them on because these are going to pop out every time you go to clean these, it will pop out. So they're just kind of annoying where they're kind of not delicate because they're not, they're really well made. I think they're made in Italy. Uh, made in Japan. Yeah, really well made kind of piece. They're really stylish, but they're more of like, you can't be like super on a, like if you're like always in a hurry like me in the car, like trying to throw something on and clean your sunglasses, you've got to be careful because the lenses will pop out when you're trying to clean them out, clean them on. Clean them, I mean. Okay, so I hope that you guys like this video. I just wanted to show you guys quickly three things that I'm just really loving right now. Um, I just feel like really fab, right? With like my sunnies. Oh my God, you guys are gonna hate me. I'm such a snob, right? And my new MCM bag, and I just think it's so cute. Um, just my new favorite little baby. Um, how do you get to share these with the things with you guys? I know it's really difficult for us to find these kind of things that, you know, in the States, but if you have friends that live abroad, I think if you guys ask them to look for MCM products, it's easier. Um, if we're just like, in the States, it's a little bit more difficult for us to find specific MCM bags. I think like the backpacks and the big totes are easy to find, but like wonderful little cute pieces like this are hard to find. I just love them. It's so special. Okay, guys. So... Um, that's it, and I love you guys so much. I'm going to try to do a vlog this week to catch up from last week. I know you guys love my vlogs, and I'm so happy you guys like them because I can, like, be myself. I don't have to, you know, always talk about, like, fashion and things like that because that's not what I'm all about at all. Um, but, yeah, so thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys so much, and if you guys liked my arm stack, you can go in my store or you can um, email me about whatever you want, different colors. You can ask me which ones are vintage. I'm here for you. Um, and then please follow me on Instagram too. Just search HRH Collection and I'm there all the time. I post at least once a day. So it's a really good, great place for us to connect. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. All right, love you guys so much. Bye.